plan on heading out to see this incredible rarity in the sky, you need to make sure you take the right safety precautions. You need them. Meteorologist Stephanie Abrams has all you need to know with an astronomer at the TELUS Space Museum. Along with don't touch the stove, we heard this when we were young. So as a kid, everybody always tells you, don't stare at the sun. I, that still holds true during an eclipse, especially one like this. It can, I mean, blind you if you stare at it too long, basically just burn your retinas. Here's what you need to protect your eyes. There's two main ways they can do that. Some sort of glasses or card. So the solar glasses will look something like this. And uh, these, if you look through them, you're not gonna see anything except for very bright light. The card may be safer for the kiddos over the glasses. As a card, it's a little bit safer for, uh, for smaller kids who maybe will stare at the sun while they put on glasses. There's a dangerous difference between viewing a total solar eclipse and an annular eclipse. During a total eclipse, during that darkness period where the sun is completely covered, it's actually safe to remove glasses. But during an annular, even though it looks like something that may be safe, it's not. Uh, you're still seeing about 10% of the sun, and that can still really damage your eyes. 